In this lesson, we're going to continue working on the back section of the boiler. We're going to do some spacing of edges and refine the model a little bit more, while also changing its position to make sure that it matches the front section perfectly. Let's get started. So in the corners of the model, if you look at reference material, you'll see that this section of the boiler at the bottom seems to have a softer edge than it does at the top. So right now it's pretty consistent. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some vertices. Let's go to the left viewport. Uh, F3 so we can see what we're doing with the vertices. I'm going to select all the vertices in this row. But only from the chamfer or the, the extrusion we did earlier, only from that point down. And then we're going to hit Shift and X. And what that does is if you come over here, that sets the uh, edge constraint. So we're on constraints. We hit Shift and X. goes from none to edge. That's how we toggle the constraint. And what that does is when it's active, if we move these vertices, they're going to stay constrained to these edges that are ahead of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to slightly move them. And you see, like, they're not going up or down or getting all wonky. It's because I have that edge constraint set. And what that's doing is really just keeping them in line with the edges that exist. We're going to do the same at the front end over here, or the back end, I should say. From that point down, let's select these, that set of vertices, and we're going to just move them back. An edge constraint will do what it has to. Okay. Let's shift an X to turn that off. And now what we can see with the with the wireframe active that this vertex, or probably a line of vertices actually, right here, is not where it should be. It's probably causing a little shading artifact. Let's just move it forward. Let's do the same with these. They're a little off the mark as well. Okay. Let's go back up to Turbo Smooth. Perspective viewport. F3 to show the shaded model, F4 to turn the wireframe off. It looks better. I noticed that before there was a darkness in here and it's gone. And you can see that like down here is a little bit softer. I'm not sure it's soft enough for my taste yet, so let's do this. Let's turn off Turbo Smooth and Edge Select. I'm going to select that edge and do an edge loop selection. I'm going to go to the left viewport, zoom in with the Z key. F3, so I can see what I'm doing here with the edges. I'm going to deselect by holding Alt all of these edges right here. I'm going to go back to perspective to be sure that I didn't deselect anything that I need. And I didn't. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to relax that little section of edges just to see the impact it has on our model. So as we scroll down, there's relax. We can click it. It softens it, but I noticed that this section right here, we went up, and I'm not sure that's what we want. So let's undo, Control-Z. Let's deselect that little top edge and do the same on the other side. Rotate back, and let's try that one more time. And that's better. Let's also hit Shift and X to constrain. Let's just slide that back a little bit. Okay, turn off Shift and X. The edge constraints are now off. Let's turbo smooth it, and that's more like what I'm expecting to see. It's a little crisper up up top and a little softer down at the bottom. I think we should do the same thing on the back. So same uh, process. We're going to go to Edge Selection, Loop. Let's deselect Left Viewport, F3. Let's deselect the edges from that point upward. Let's go to Perspective again, make sure we have a proper selection. We didn't get rid of anything. That looks good. Let's remove these two edges from the selection. There's one. There's two. And now we're going to relax that with the relax. Okay. It's not exactly what I was hoping to happen. So let's undo Control Z. Let's Shift X. Let's slide this forward a little bit. Okay. And let's relax it now. That's better actually. That little adjustment made it work better. We can fix where the angle is right here. It's relaxing downward a little. It's it's not specific to a certain axis. So when you relax, it will relax in all directions. Let's do it again. That's too much. Control Z. Let's go to left viewport. And now what we're going to do is go to vertice, vertex selection, F3, so I can see what we're doing again. Let's select this section and that selection. 
let's just move them up. Make sure that you have your edge constraints off. They may still be on, which they are. Shift and X. Use the up arrow. Okay, now this is good. This is level. Let's move this back down a little bit. Deselect that. Let's move that. That looks better. Let's go to perspective viewport. And turn on turbo smooth. And that's much more like what I was expecting to see. Um, you see that there's like a difference in the radius of the chamfer or the edge the edge distances. Let me turn off turbo smooth so you can see it. So the difference is that these are tighter, these are further spread apart, and that little difference makes the way the mesh looks react. So what you want to do is keep that in mind. It's like a corner radius almost. So I'm going to take these two verts right here. And because they're a little misaligned, I'm just going to shift X. I'm going to move them a little forward just so it's a little more consistent. Sometimes you're going to have to manually tweak things. They're not always going to be perfect. Okay, that looks better. And I think with that said, we have a couple more things to do. Let's do this left viewport. Uh, I'm going to select the whole object. And we're just going to nudge it forward because there's a gap here. You can see the orange and there shouldn't be. So let's just nudge that forward. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go to vertex sub object. We're going to take these at the bottom. They're inter intersecting or, or coincident with the next piece of geometry. So we're just going to push them back a touch. And you see, I just made a mistake. There was edge constraints on, which it can happen when you're working quickly. Sometimes you leave things checked on. Just undo Control Z, Shift and X. Make sure it's off. It is now. We're just going to pull them back. And that's perfect. Still a little bit intersecting, but let's look at it in perspective and see how it looks. It could be acceptable. I don't mind that so much, to tell you the truth. I think that's good. If you want to tweak it further, you can tweak it. But for, for what we're doing right here, I think that's fine. And the last thing we're going to do in this uh, lesson, we're going to take that object and, of course, we're going to name it. So we're going to call it uh, boiler underscore rear section dash 01 and the 01 is in case I decide to make a, a adjustments or another copy of the model to, to change it in some way I still know which one is the original okay uh, we're going to continue in the next lesson I'm going to pause the video here